Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The leaks regarding Pokemon Scarlet and Violet seem to indicate that the new gimmick has something to do with three. And I know a lot of people speculate that this is a third typing, which the most reliable leaker's only indication is the number three. Which, although that seems like it could indicate third typing, it could also indicate some other thing. And in this video, I'm just going to go over some speculation about what it could be. Let's see how closely get to the actual thing. So three in the past, uh, the closest thing that matches that would be triple battles back several gens ago. And I, I don't see this happening just because triple battles are kind of a mess. I, I just don't expect VGC to go to triple battles. I feel like that would be a change that just doesn't make sense as being a new gimmick because i believe this is supposed to be a new gimmick not just a rebranding of an old one so in my opinion it kind of rules that one out specifically and right now the most common speculation is just a straight up third typing that you can add to any pokemon and i don't think this will happen either and the main reason for this is the gimmick has to be competitive because vgc players cup it's a big part of the new gen and it keeps the game alive well after the hype is gone which a third typing is just ridiculous it, it, there's so many things that cannot be balanced if you can just add a third typing to anything you want so i think that is a little too extreme what i actually predicted is based on three is this is likely something that has already been seen in the game in specifically delmise so Delmize's ability is Steel Worker, which essentially gives it stab on steel. It's like the only Pokemon with three stabs, basically. And that is what I think this new three gimmick is going to be. I think it has to do with a third stab of some sort. Now, it could be more advanced than that, and I'll get into that a little bit. But essentially, being able to add any additional same type attack bonus to any mon you want so like if you want incineroar to have fighting type stab you could give it fighting type stab or give charizard grass type stab so it's solar beam stronger that way it could better cover water types i think that would be a very fun gimmick and a reasonably balanced gimmick it gives you stronger coverage options so that your pokemon can be more consistent and also you could give delmize four stabs which would just be awesome though if they go this route you probably cannot add additional stab to a typing you already have stab up like charizard probably would not be able to get additional fire stab to increase your fire type damage but something else this gimmick could also do and i don't see a lot of people talk about this is it can give the special perks of those typings so take like fire types cannot be burnt what if you add fire type stab to say groudon and that additional stab also prevents it from being burned i feel like if that additional layer was added to the gimmick that would also be relatively balanced and would give you some interesting flexibility and means of counter picking certain options like basically preventing Groudon from being burned. That's really nice to have. Or what if you gave something the dark type stab so that it is immune to prankster attacks? That could be super nice as well. Which if the additional perk was added, certain stabs would be a lot stronger than other ones. Like you would really want grass and fire and dark. Those would be the stronger ones. Electric would probably also be good. Ice and ground would still have a point though because of just how offensive those two typings are. All those non-stab ice beams would then be stab ice beams. But I think a gimmick like that really has a lot of potential and it doesn't really break the game and it's not as exclusive as like Megas because Megas were only for very specific Pokemon and I think the Pokemon company wants to go away from those very exclusive gimmicks that only a few Pokemon can use. That's why Gen 7 had Z-moves, everything can have a Z-move. Gen 8 had Dynamax, everything can Dynamax except for a few legendaries but they had a special move that counters Dynamax so they're kind of like the anti-Dynamax. What would be the worst stab you could add? Probably Dragon. 
because dragon doesn't help you much. Uh, normal also does not help much unless you just want to hyper beam something. But I think the rest of the typings would have some kind of utility, especially the ones with immunity. So those are going to be the strong ones, but also the ones that just have a lot of offensive coverage. There's so many Pokemon in VGC that run close combat and ice beam and even earthquake, and they don't have that stab, but they run those moves anyway, just because they're really good. So you could give those Mon that stab and they could suddenly have more offense with those already really good moves. Rock Slide is also very common. Having rock type stab on say Landorus could be very useful, but there are some Pokemon that will benefit a lot from that kind of gimmick and that is anything with adaptability because if the gimmick works as an additional stab then you will get the adaptability bonus on that stab so Porygon Z will have a place in the meta if that is the case because you're gonna have very powerful you know ice beams or thunderbolts or dark pulses depending on what you need Porygon Z just becomes a nuke for whatever typing that it has that you want it to be a nuke for. Though some abilities might have to be adjusted in how they work because they don't play well with the gimmick. Like Libero, for example. If you have fighting type stab added to Cinderace and with a Libero, it switches to a fighting type, would you get additional stab on that? That's a really interesting thing to think about. Which, if it did get that additional stab, then it's basically adaptability as well. Which could make Cinderace pretty strong offensively. But I can't really think of any abilities on, off the top of my head that just really lose with a gimmick like that. And just about any Pokemon can actually benefit from being able to add additional stab, because a lot of them have coverage moves. So to have your coverage move now be a stab move, is just very helpful. You can then have very specific coverage in your team that's going to be a lot stronger than it would be in another format. So overall, I think that would be a great option for the new gimmick. And I am just locking my prediction in. That is what I think it's going to be. I could be 100,000% wrong because this is all speculation anyway. We don't really know until we get new footage from the Pokemon company themselves. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any predictions about what the new gimmick is going to be, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.